I am excited for our restaurants to resume their service and I look forward to keeping our line of communication open as well as to continue to navigate this pandemic together. Mayor Brandon Scott announcing that starting at 6 o'clock Friday morning, bars and restaurants around the city can reopen to dining, but with some strict rules. Indoor dining will be allowed at 25% capacity. Outdoor dining, 50%. There will be a one-hour time limit for patrons, and businesses must maintain a sign-in, sign-out sheet. It's like putting a Band-Aid on a gunshot wound at this point. John Minadakis, president of Jimmy's Famous Seafood, has been quite vocal about the Scott administration's decision to shut down dining, saying, unfortunately, more patrons are choosing to dine in Baltimore County. He calls the reopening too little, too late. It's honestly insulting, to be honest with you, um, to have a one-hour time limit when it takes 30 minutes to steam a dozen crabs. Uh, it's, it's reckless, in my opinion. While Minadakis has been able to stay afloat with carry-out, food trucks, and online shipping, he's also been helping struggling restaurants around the city, raising almost $150,000 and counting. And the first few weeks, carry-out was okay, but as the Ravens made the playoffs, we've watched our business migrate to the county. People helping restaurants like the Chaucer in Canton. Managing partner Brian Eater tells us that he's done everything from raffling off expensive bourbons to not taking a salary in order to pay his staff. He says the money from Jimmy's and Scott's order to now reopen should go a long way. We're doing everything we can to keep our staff working, but at some point we have to open back up. And as long as we're safe about it, I think it's the right decision. So I'm overjoyed. And other restrictions that were lifted in the city, gyms can now have classes of up to 10 people, and indoor recreation sites can now operate at a 25% capacity. By the way, if you'd like to uh, participate in the funding drive that Jimmy's is doing, they have a GoFundMe page. We have a link to it on our website, WBALTV.com, and on our mobile app. We're live in Hamden tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.